get four yeses, but Simon said that they would make America proud. So they will be in the studio today uh, after 8 o'clock, uh, for sure, right here. Move in 1077, music that makes you move. It's Kevin Kennedy in the morning. And speaking of, speaking of Paula Abdul, let's play this real quick. Can we get a drum roll, please? Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Hampton Roads, Alan and Darius. Darius? Yes. Am I saying it right? You are. Are you serious? <laughs> From Fort Shore, everybody! <laughs> And I'm learning things as we go. I was telling you guys off the air, I'm new to Hampton Roads. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to break it down. Here's how, here's how it happened. I'm watching X Factor at home on my couch in my underwear. Okay. <laughs> I see you guys. Is, your, is that mic working? Is it working? Testing, testing, check, check. Here, use that one. I don't know what's going on here. Check, try that one. Testing. Oh, that's no, much better. So oh. I'm, I'm watching X Factor. I see you guys come on in. You're like, oh, we're from Virginia Beach. Mm -hmm. And I start freaking out. I come on the air the next morning, start talking about it, and next thing you know, you're here! Woo! <laughs> this is our first live radio interview. Yeah, oh, okay. We have to pump that up big time. Your first live radio interview yeah. in Hampton Roads ever! Yes, 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 yes. Right here. Remember this. Kennedy in the morning, moving 1077, 107. had for sure on first. first. Nobody else has had them on. Thank you. So, oh my god, we have so much to talk about. First of all, how are you guys feeling? Uh, you, you go on X Factor, you get four yeses, they say you're going to make America proud, and, and you leave the stage feeling like what? Leaving the stage, I think it's very funny because people actually ask us how do we feel right afterwards, and it was actually tired because <laughs> we, it was such a big rush to get there. Like, we had four days to get to Seattle, and so convincing your parents for $1,000 was kind of difficult. Is that how it happened? That's you're exactly like, how it happened. give us the money! Yeah, and so we actually hadn't seen each other in almost a year. So we got there, Brandon didn't, Brandon's in D.C. right now and Jesse's in Florida, but Brandon actually didn't get the memo to let's get to Seattle early on the day before so that we can practice. <laughs> he decided let's get there like 6 at night. So we were up to like 3 or 4 in the morning practicing. And, and then, then had to go straight to the audition? Straight to the audition. So we were there all day long. And so by the time we actually auditioned, it was just like this big rush. And we're like, yes, yes, yes. And as soon as we walked off, we're like, whoa, boom. And it hit me. And it must have been like a dream, especially when you guys caught up on some sleep. And you probably wake up going, did that really just happen? That's exactly what happened, exactly. because I didn't even sleep, because my flight was like two hours after we got back home. Right. And so it was just kind of like I got back to Virginia, and uh -huh. I'm sitting there, and I'm like, what? we just got four yeses. Like, <laughs> it, it didn't hit me until that moment. And how, how far before did you guys actually tape that, before it actually aired on TV? We knew, well, we taped it. The end of June, I believe. So we've known all this time <laughs> for months that we got four yeses, and now we're just allowed to speak on it. See, I don't know how women keep pregnancies for so long. Like that's a secret. Right. Like, yeah. I run my mouth a lot, so like not telling people we were on X Factor, I guess that would kind of be what it feels like. You were just holding the secret, like you were probably on TV. Well, yeah, because women you know, wait till the first trimester. They wait, uh, you know, several months, and that's what you guys had to do. It's crazy. <laughs> wait until they showed it on TV. So all this time you've had to keep it inside, and you've been pumped. So. Um, God, there's so much to ask you. First of all, how did you make it? Why did you go to Seattle? Didn't they have auditions everywhere? Or? See, what happened was, for sure, was trying to find an audition that would work with our schedule. One of our gotcha. members, he was pledging in a fraternity. He couldn't tell us he was pledging in a fraternity. Because that's all. Man, there's so many secrets surrounding <laughs> this. Yeah. So we didn't know. That's why he kept saying, oh, I can't go on this day. Can't. So we're actually mad at him. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, we're trying to be a group and go out. So we're just like, what's going on? And so at the last minute, I heard about a Seattle audition. And I was like, guys, let's just do it. This is the date. This is the big And date. it was all meant to be. If you would have gone to another one or if you wouldn't have timed out, who exactly. knows what would have happened. Exactly. So you get there, you get four yeses, and now here you are. We, I want to ask you about boot camp. That's, when is that happening? 
You'll or, see that tomorrow. You're not allowed to say anything? So that's already happened. Yeah. It's already been. So there some is, parts are filmed and no. then some parts are live. So, so there is so much stuff here. Are, are, is there stuff you're not allowed to tell me? Yeah. Of course. Boot camp, we can't tell you. We just have to tell you to watch it. Boot camp was very, very, very intense. All that's right. all I'll say. I want to ask you a little bit about that. I'll try to squeeze some out of you <laughs> as much as I can. I want to ask you about the judges and I want to ask you about uh, some other stuff too. Let me play a song real quick, uh, Requested No Mercy and more with For Sure on their first live radio interview ever. <laughs> Kennedy in the morning, moving 1077, don't move.